Lu Dingyi was born on June 9, 1906 in Wuxi, in Qing Dynasty, China. Lu joined the Chinese Communist Party in 1925, aged 19, while he was studying electrical engineering at Nanyang Public School. After graduation, he joined revolutionary activities full-time, being mainly involved in the Communist Youth League, writing articles for its newspaper, Chinese Youth, this was later renamed, Proletarian Youth, and later, Leninist Youth. In 1927, he took part in both the Fifth Chinese Communist Party National Congress, and the Communist Youth League Congress, being elected a member of the SIL Central Committee working with its propaganda department. He was actively involved in countering Chiang Kai-shek's anti-communist coup, organizing communist unities in Guangdong. In 1928 he, attended the 6th CCP National Congress and the SIL Congress, both of which were held in Moscow, remaining in the Soviet Union until 1930 as a junior representative of the SIL to the Comintern. Lu Dingyi then returned in China and participated in the Long March of 1934-35, as an editor of the Red Star newspaper, he also worked with the propaganda department of the 8th Root Army, and was, a member of the CCP propaganda department starting from 1934. In 1942 he was promoted to chief editor of the Liberation Daily after his predecessor Yang Song fell ill. During the Yan'an rectification movement in the early 1940s, he wrote a piece called, Our Basic View for Journalism, which was considered the basis for Chinese communist journalism. In 1943 he was appointed head of the CCP, Central Propaganda Department, a post he held until 1952 and then again from 1954, and was elected CCP Central Committee member in 1945. A political commissar in the People's Liberation Army, Ludinii gave important contributions to the revolutionary struggle in Shanxi along with other top leaders like Mao Zedong, Zhou Enlai and Ren Bixi, according to his official biography. After the establishment of the People's Republic of China, Lu was deputy chairman of the Culture and Education Committee of the Central People's Government from 1949 and member of the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress from 1954. At the Eighth Party Congress in 1956, he was re-elected a CCP Central Committee member and promoted to Politburo Alternate Member, concurrently serving as Secretary of the CCP Secretariat from 1962. In 1957 and 1960, he accompanied major party leaders Mao Zedong, Liu Shaoqi, and Deng Xiaoping to international meetings of communist parties held in Moscow, his main political activity was in the cultural front, as he directed cultural criticism campaigns. In 1959 he was appointed a vice premier of the state council, and minister of culture in, 1965. The next year, the cultural revolution began, and he was accused of supporting the reactionary line in culture since he did not adhere to Mao Zedong's idea that culture should extensively serve proletarian politics. In May 1966 he was accused of being part of an anti-party clique and dismissed. He was also criticized for his activity in the Five Man Group, a central committee agency, in charge of leading the first stages of the Cultural Revolution, and was imprisoned for 13 years. Lu was released and rehabilitated by the new leadership headed by Deng Xiaoping. In 1979 he was appointed to the 5th CPP's EC National Committee as its vice chairman, and also the CCP Central Committee as a consultant to the propaganda department. He was later a member of the Central Advisory Commission. He died in Beijing on May 9, 1996.